Hi, everyone. My name is Cameron Ross. And I'm Jen Bryson, and we are the assistant editors on FX's Atlanta. We were going to show you guys our workflow that we're using for season three. We start, of course, with dailies. We've got to get that footage from production and into our hands. We organize that footage for our editors, who then begin their edit. They throw in things like sound effects and music to really enhance the world. Then, a long way down the line, we finally picture lock. We add our VFX. And then we, which is a little bit different from a lot of post-production, we do the online ourselves um, in-house with Adobe, which actually makes it really simple. And then we finish it off and send it to broadcast for everyone to enjoy. And we can show you how. Using productions, we're actually breaking down our media into smaller project files that's then being stored in the production umbrella. So you can see here we have an episodes folder. We have our episode for 302. In it, we have a cuts folder that has our edit project. And we also have a scenes folder. And in that is a project for every scene. And this allows us to, and we also have music, sound effects, VFX, things that are episode specific, as well as more of a global uh, show-wide media. And what this allows us to do is really be a lot more lightweight and quicker and faster when we're working in Premiere. And we are also able to work together in one production. So we have our two editors, our, us as the assistants, our VFX artists are all working in one production at the same time and collaborating together. So the fact that we're all able to collaborate together in one production is really helpful. Plus, organization, which is our number one job, is kind of taken care of within the production. It's been so helpful to work with. Now let's start with dailies. So for season three, we shot most of our episodes in Europe. We had to have an A cam, a B cam, and some audio. We're going to highlight all three of those. We're going to right click and create a multi-camera sequence. And we're going to sync with time code. And then we're going to use uh, clip names for our cameras. And when we click this, you'll see that all those clips go to a process clip spin. And we're left with a multi-camera sequence. Now that we have our multi-camera sunk, we're going to start marking it up and organizing it for our editors. So what Cam means by marking up this clip is we're going to place markers on the action so that our editors, when they open up their clips, don't have to worry about looking at the slate clapping, any setup that's happening, or any resets. We just want them to see performance. So now I have a green marker at the beginning of action, a red marker at the end. My editor knows exactly where to look for, for his performance and doesn't have to worry about anything else. The next thing is the editor is able to edit that sequence. So we're going to take a look at Isaac's rough assembly of scene seven. So here it is. You can see we don't have any sound effects or VFX or anything, but we do have all of our multicams cut together. We might want to swap a takeout. And one thing that's really great about productions is that we can right click a clip and reveal it in project. And now you can see we have all their takes here. And we can then easily review them, swap out as needed, and continue editing as we go through the editing process. Now, once that we have our rough assembly done, we start to do sound effects and music. So the other great thing about productions is while my editor is working in his edit project, he may think, OK, I'm working on an airport scene. I would love to have some audio of an airport to sort of build out that world. So while he's working on that, I can go into the production and have a sound effects project for him. So once we've filled out our project with sound effects and music, we've really gotten a feel for where we want the edit to stand, we can finally lock picture. This is a very celebratory moment. We finally did it, except we have a few more steps to go. And we're going to go an example with a VFX shot that we tempt in. So in this instance, we have Earn going through security. He's going to lift up his hands, and his pants are going to fall down. Now, the only problem here is they fall down too fast. So what we actually did is we create a split screen, and we slid the pant fall a little bit. So you can see here's where our split screen is. And now we're going to play it. There we go. Much funnier, better comedic effect, better pant drop. The next part is onlining. And Jen talked about it a little bit before that unlike some other shows, we actually online in-house in Premiere. So we're actually going to show you how we do that process. What we're going to do is take our finished project, or our timeline, and we're going to get rid of anything that's not production footage. So that's audio, VFX, graphics, any of that. We're going to get rid of that. And now we're going to highlight all of our multicams, the green clips. And we're going to right click, and we're going to flatten the multicams. And what this does is it gets rid of that multicam wrapper. 
And then it just leaves any of the footage that we are using in that specific clip. So now what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our media project. And we have our online footage here. And we would output this as a ProRes 444XQ in the 4K size. And that would go to our color house. And we would also export an XML. And they would then be able to bring both those in and color every shot individually. While that's happening, we've sent our sound to our mix facility. And they're mixing and coloring and eventually going to combine all that to our finished product that ends up on air. Again, thank you so much for coming out. We are so proud to work on this show, and we love sharing it with everyone. And we're also very proud to work in Premiere and would love to see more and more shows working in Premiere.